I believe readiness is important because it's really at the heart of what we do in the military. Instead of reacting to everything last moment, it's important to prepare before. What are units gonna do in the case of a winter storm? What are units gonna do in the case of chemical agents, biological agents, nuclear weapons? In order to protect what we have, we have to be ready. So my role as an emergency manager in the Air Force uh, to sum it up, jack of all trades. We train the installation on defense actions in regards to Seaburn. Stands for chemical, biological, radiological, and nuclear. So properly wearing our protective gear, understanding contamination, avoidance, different practices, different protective postures. Basically giving the installation that knowledge to survive and operate if any of our adversaries ever decide to use these weapons against us. It's not just Seaburn Defense. If there's something that goes wrong and we have to stand up the Emergency Operations Center, we train all of those individuals. And then when it comes to exercises, we train the wing and we support the wing. It really validates our ability to train if the wing is able to react the way they're supposed to. Some people will hear emergency management and they think, oh, they're the Seaburn guys. Usually they don't understand that we're also responders. We advise commanders. It's wartime, we make recommendations. We write emergency response plans. As we've seen recently with some of the bases down in Florida, planning is a huge part of making sure that your installation is ready. All of those responsibilities, uh, honestly, they all fall into readiness. We hope nothing goes wrong. We hope there's no emergencies, but we're preparing for something to happen before it happens. The culture of my shop and fellow emergency managers, well, I will say one thing. We tend to be very analytical. There's a lot of discussion back and forth. We have to dig a lot in our publications and guidance and even in civilian publications and guidance. You need to have the ability to take that information and analyze and then communication skills. In the military and especially as an emergency manager, it seems like we're speaking every day. Uh, whether we're teaching Seaburn defense or we're advising commanders, we get the opportunity to conquer a common fear, you know, public speaking. When I was an airman, it was my senior airmen, my NCOs, my senior NCOs, who really took me under their wing and they explained readiness to me. They explained why we had to take certain actions, why we have to train, uh, why we have to make sure other people are trained. Them taking care of me increased my readiness and my understanding. When I first came in, a lot of it was just focusing on me. Now it's outward, it's how can I help other people in emergency management. Uh, fortunately, we have the opportunity to work with the wing and I get to help other people a lot. If I can influence all of my airmen and they go on and influence their airmen to influence their airmen, I'll be happy. 